expressed strong criticism toward corporate leaders for their decision to end the strike. They argue that the leadership's choice undermines the teachers' demands and fails to address the core issues that led to the industrial action. Faith Nyongesa with more details to that story. Some members of the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers Coupet have voiced their opposition to the union's official decision to end the teacher strike. They claim that their decision was made without proper consultation with the broader membership. These members, who are representative of various counties, view the move by the national official as a betrayal of Kenyan teachers. This thing was at the time that the teachers believed that we were going to achieve some of the demands that we had put before the Teacher Service Commission. But all of a sudden, without any notice, the Secretary General comes on media and declares the strike off. This is not just a betrayal, but it is an affront to the collective resolve of the teachers of this country. They believe that the lack of input from rank and file members undermines their collective bargaining efforts. The union's officials, on the other hand, have expressed concern that the concession made might result in their demands not being fulfilled. Only one demand was made, that's the implementation of the CBA, whereby a number of teachers benefited by having been given 1,000 shillings and below. So since the National Governing Council had not been sanctioned, we would like to, to dissociate ourselves from that particular pronouncement. We were not involved as the strike was called off. And therefore, teachers are waiting to hear from the Secretary General exactly why he called off the strike and what was given to the teachers during that time. They fear that the resolution of the strike will leave their key issues unresolved. Reporting for Tandao News of Look at One, I'm Faith Nyongesa.